channel. I am Tori Denise and you have reached Simplicity is T. Before we go into this vlog, go ahead and pause that video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you can get an update of when I drop another vlog. As you guys can tell by the title, we're going to be talking about some, some good stuff. Some real good stuff. Um, a lot has been happening, um, honestly, and I'm not even gonna lie, the only person that I can thank and give credibility to is God himself because just to come out of the situation that I've been in and now I'm in a better situation, a better environment, I'm trying to do this. First of all, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we even jump into this vlog, I just want to go ahead and throw out that I am vlogging from my living room. I'm trying out something different. Bear with me. I feel like the ring light making me look a little ghosty, so I might not wear makeup anymore when I do these vlogs. I'm not sure, but but it's all good. <laughs> but like I said, first and foremost, we gotta get a credibility to God um, just to overcome all the obstacles that I came from, the storms. If you follow me on my social media, my um, Instagram, I'm very open with it, even with even on TikTok and also on my Facebook. Um, if not, um, I'm gonna go ahead and enter them all right there while we're talking about this and go from there. Oh, I look like I got an Adam's apple. I promise I'm a woman. <laughs> so yeah, gotta give credibility to the big man upstairs. As you guys can see, we are repping that Crimson Roll Tide school season has officially started. This is my third year at the university. At the, at the University of Alabama. You know what? Let's just go ahead and make it make this into a little intro video. So if you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Tori. Some people know a little bit about me, but for those who don't, Tori T T Money Cookie, as my man called me. But yeah, uh, my name is Tori. I am 29 years old. I am from Augusta, Georgia, by way of Brooklyn, New York, as well. Um, I am the baby girl and yeah. I am a mother of one, eight-year-old amazing little boy. <laughs> I am in a relationship um, of two years. My boyfriend name is Gary, if you don't know. So if you've been following this channel for, you know, since I've been single, you already know. We've been through the struggle, but that's for another vlog. Um, I am a junior, up and coming junior at the University of Alabama. I am studying to be a certified child life specialist. Um, I also be a nurse as well. Basically what we do is we work with kids that have like autism, cerebral palsy. Um, we go in and prep the patients. We discuss the procedures. We kind of make it comfortable for children to just want to get out there. Not even want to get out there, girl. We make it comfortable for children to, um, you know, overcome their fears, all that they're going through a major surgery. So if they're getting a CT scan or anything like that, me personally, I'd be like, hey, we're about to go into a little, little spaceship and, you know, just try to make them not be as fearful as they already are. Yeah, I'm a nursing student, full-time mom, and I also work full-time. I'm a marketing representative in the property management world. Um, I work myself from leasing to here. So that's how I got here. <laughs> I reside in Dallas, Texas. I relocated from Georgia to Dallas um, just to kind of pursue something different. Um, so my job is the reason why I ended up in Dallas, Texas. I moved from Georgia to Dallas and everything has been amazing since I moved back from Dallas. If you're not familiar with the story, go ahead and hit this little button right here so you can follow up on my homeless in Houston story. That's kind of like the little boring part of me. But as far as why and how I started my YouTube channel. So first my YouTube channel started as me just dancing, just posting video, dancing videos, cause that's what I did in Atlanta. I danced professionally for four years in, in Atlanta. Um, I had some good times, some bad times, but I, overall I've learned a lot. Being in the industry and being a um, full time dancer and you know, being broke and all that other good stuff. So yeah. But look, don't scare me like that. I know I heard something. How I started. So basically, 
I would say when I moved to, no, first of all, my very first, I, I would say overall vlog was when I was a freshman in college. I started college at Alabama A&M University. And I would say if I would have been consistent back in 2012, baby, we would have rest on rest on rest. Oh, rats, oh, rats, oh, rats. <laughs> but it's all good because like I said what's for me will always be for me and God directed me on this journey that I am in today so how I got started me posting that video I actually my very first video was actually with Christian's father but I deleted it so you'll never ever see it I probably I would never ever get it back it's gone forever so just clear the memory out of your head but my very first video was with him and then over the over the years i would say later on that year i got pregnant so i was pregnant with christian i could have vlogged my little pregnancy journey but it was it was a very stressful pregnancy and then later on in 2013 in the new year i lost my mother so i think me losing my mom and battling being a mom and overall postpartum and depression it honestly I think I just lost the passion of being behind. In 2018, I decided to bring um, my YouTube channel back. It was um, The Prep Princess or something like that. I think that, yeah, that was my YouTube channel name back in the day was The Prep Princess. And I was like, you know what? I, I want something, something. I told myself, if I'm gonna get back on YouTube, I want something, I want something different. So I felt like me, and when I came back on YouTube, I was depressed. And I felt like me getting on the camera and just trying to share my story and put it out there, I will overcome my depression. But that didn't work. I started posting a, little, a couple vlogs there, a couple vlogs here. I really wasn't consistent because I was trying to juggle dancing and, you know, just basically trying to prove everybody wrong that I can make it in Atlanta with no, with no help and just, you know, overall just be superwoman fast forward to 2020 2020 my dad passed away in may of 2020 and i moved to dallas for the first time so when i moved to dallas for the first time i felt like hey okay this is my chance to start my vlog channels back up so i started it back up when i was in atlanta and i ended up you know trying to block my experience when i was in dallas that's when i did the big chop so if you guys don't remember the big chop baby I went from this to this <laughs> and yeah so um i ended up cutting all my hair why do i sound like this i ended up cutting all my hair and um everybody just thought i was going through like this midlife crisis or something like that um but i felt like i feel like overall i had got some bad news and you know, trying to cope with dealing with losing both parents and then being in a whole new city, being homesick and, you know, all that good jazz. If you guys aren't familiar with this story, go ahead and hit that link there. Basically, I explain how it is moving away from your home. I became inconsistent. Um, I became, I started gaining weight. You know, as you guys can see right here, I was, I was, that was probably the biggest that I've ever been and I wasn't secure in my body, you know. Um, that's when G came into play. So me and G, G and I have been friends for um, seven years. We've been friends for seven years and we rekindled our friendship back in 2020. And I think from there, he just kinda, I wouldn't say he nursed me because y'all, we're not gonna make this into some like soap opera story, like some little fairy tale, no. But I will say he helped me grow in a way. Um, he helped me realize and see the person that I am. He helped me see the woman that I've become and the woman that I am becoming. Honestly, G pushed me closer to God. And for a while, I was angry with God, you know, because I felt like everybody was winning but me. Like, okay, boom, I'm doing, there was, it. matter of fact, a story in particular. There was a friend of mine and we had a mutual friend girl in the group and we both had just started both our YouTube channels up, but I had already had a following, but she didn't and she started posting. So because of the person that she was and who she was affiliated with, ultimately the followers came. Now I'm not gonna say that's the reason why 
because everybody's blessing is in their season and I'm not gonna take away from that. That's not the person that I wanna be perceived as. At the time, I was perceived as, as that person because I was angry. I, I, my friend ended up sharing this girl's post but didn't share mine on Instagram. And I know it is so petty. But at the time, y'all gotta understand, I was 25 years old, I was upset and I felt some type of way. Shoot! Ultimately, that was God saying that it wasn't my season. And sometimes we go back and, and reflect on a lot of things. And some things, for me, I don't regret anything that I've ever done in life. However, I wish that I would have made uh, better decisions, better choices. Yeah, I cut them off. Um, I, I distanced myself with God overall. But being with a man like Gary, um, if nobody knows, my boyfriend name is Gary. Being with a man like Gary, he he comes from a family of tradition and value. Um, his mom and dad, they've been together for 20 plus years. Um, they're amazing people. His sisters, they're amazing as well. Like, honestly, I wouldn't change anything in the world. Like, if you know how people say, if there's that one thing that you could change about your man and his family, what would it be? I wouldn't change anything. Although, you know, we, We've come far because in the beginning we were as, me and his family were as close as we were now. And I feel like we're growing even more because I'm, I'm opening up. Cause y'all know I'm an introvert and I'm opening up and getting out of my shell. They truly believe in God. Their, their faith, the walk that they have, like it's just very inspiring. So his faith and seeing him constantly go to church, like he never forced it on me, but in a way, I kind of like how he did it. Like he'll he'll stay on Facetime with me, and he'll turn the camera around, and I'll just ultimately just kept little catch little glimpses of church and everything like that. And then I remember it was one particular sermon that stood out to me that his pastor preached about, and it was about um, acceptance. So he the pastor basically was basically said that. You're upset with God, but not upset with the people that don't even care about you. And that particular saying kind of stood out to me because it made sense. I felt like I was pouring myself more so into my friends or my frenemies or whatever you call it. I feel like I was pouring myself into them more and wasn't even paying attention to God. It grew when I went through this particular situation because I would say... Being homeless and doing everything kind of honestly humbled me um, to even get through anything. That particular situation kind of um, showed me that God can, just as quick as that, he can give it to you, he can take it away. And I would say overall, that situation is what humbled me and made me want to grow closer to God because nobody was answering my situation. Nobody was there for me at but God at the time. Now, I'm not saying that doesn't take away from G and his sister or his family what they've done for me, but I would say overall, when I decided to say, you know what, bump it, seek God, trying to pray and become consistent in prayer and just trying to figure out what it is that I want to do, that's hard. So I had to ask myself, okay, now that God has blessed you, with all all of this and basically turn this into a 360 how do you feel going forward what is it that you want to do and i would say me starting to vlog this experience is what made me want to pour into getting back into content creating like this is something i actually love to do this is something that you know a lot of people wouldn't expect me to do it because I am so introverted. So I'm not one of those people that goes out and, you know, try to meet and greet people and, you know, just randomly take pictures. So this is me stepping out of my shell. I don't want to continue to grow into the old person. Like, continue to walk into the... I told myself, when I get to Dallas and start this new journey, figure out what it is your new niche. Which brings me to becoming a brand in that's the turn. Honestly, this all boils down into being consistent. Um, although my channel is very, very small, one thing that I want to give you, give tips on to anybody that's growing their channel, stay consistent. Um, 
whether you have 700 followers, whether you have 200, 1,000, whatever, consistency is key. Me becoming a brand ambassador is something that is just, that's wild. So backstory, um, they contact, the particular com company contacted me and they were like, hey, I, we want to, you know, blah, 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 blah. You know, y'all know the goodness. For me to believe, I honestly ultimately believe people be full of crap. <laughs> Dude, but I would have to say, I was like, you know what, just respond back. I did my research to see if the company was legit and it was. So I ended up emailing the lady back. We went through through thorough documents, NDAs and everything. And man, when I got that first payment that hit my account <laughs> the other day, whew, this ties into the tips on growing your social media, growing your YouTube, just, just growing as a whole in general. Um, first, the first thing I'm gonna say, and I know some people might roll their eyes, but honestly, it's, it's God. It's God. A lot of people say, oh, I'm gonna manifest this, but don't put God into that manifestation. So I was one of those people. I felt like if I just said, oh, I manifested, boom, that was it. It was gonna automatically come to me. But no, you have to be consistent in your manifestation. You have to have faith and you have to put God first. Like if you guys don't put God first before anything, if you don't pray on it, sleep on it, and then manifest it, man, please. Basically talking about being an influencer. I kind of, when I when I came back to YouTube, I wanted to ask myself, okay, what's your niche? What? Why do you want to be an influencer? Is an influencer the, the name that you, you're wanting? And to be honest, not necessarily because I don't want people to, you know, I don't want that. To, I think for me, I'm, I don't like having certain pressure on me, and I and I battled with, and felt like if I called myself an influencer, you know, what if I didn't deliver the content that you guys wanted? So I got wrapped up in it. I got wrapped up in it, and I started contemplating myself a couple weeks ago. Um, you're going to go through those moments where you feel like. Is this really for me? Is this something that I really want to do? You know, the followers aren't growing. The subscribers aren't growing. A lot of people don't watch my stuff. I'm going to be completely honest. When I became consistent and just said, you know what? Bump the views, bump the likes. Just post content that you fit. Just be your genuine self. So when I told myself to just be myself, it, it just kind of started working. Like, granted, no, I'm not at 100 something views or nothing like that per every every video that I post, but I will say me being consistent and genuinely being me, somebody gonna rock with it, baby. Period, period, point blank. When it comes to influencing, figure out what it is that you guys are wanting to do. You can't just say, oh, I'm an influencer and I'm about to post some thrift shopping and then that's it. No, like, People gotta rock with you. Seeing you every day, like me, I'm not a I'm not a social media person. So posting every day is different for me. Yes, you have to post every day. If you don't post every day, baby, they gonna you will get lost in the sauce, lost in the deep blue sea with SpongeBob and Patrick and them, and you're not gonna be found. Every day, I wouldn't even say every day. Maybe every other day. But you have to figure out where to post. Figure out, you know, in a way, read your analytics, but at the same time. Don't get wrapped up in your analytics. If you really are serious about this YouTube shit, bro, like, you you really have to tune people out. Tune out the views, tune out the subscribers. Honestly, I would rather have people watching my stuff than to have a thousand something subscribers and they're not watching my stuff. Then I really get lost in the song. I feel like as of yesterday, I found my niche, fashion. I love, I love fashion, I love shoes. But at the same time, it was like, okay, if you're gonna do fashion, how are you gonna deliver? Because everybody, everybody doing fashion, bro. But I feel like with me incorporating just me, period, and being genuinely myself, it, it, it's gonna come. Y'all gonna rock with it. Not everybody don't dress the same, and I don't. So that's how I felt. Figuring out what it is that you wanna do. If you're gonna be on YouTube, okay, why are you gonna be on YouTube? Is it for the money? And it's cool if it's for the money, but if it's for the money, you gotta post stuff that's for the money. You can't just post stuff and then boom, I'm gonna prank my boyfriend. No, that was one of my things. 
me introducing Christian and G onto my channel, I didn't want you guys to just get mixed up into the family thing. Granted, I don't mind sharing my family because it is family lifestyle and fashion. But it's like, how do I create an environment where y'all rocking with all of it completely? It's not just that, oh, well, I, I like when she posts a little fashion videos. Oh, I like when she posts a little date night. Like, overall, I want y'all to, I wouldn't say I want y'all to like me, but I just want y'all to grow into a family. Like, I don't have family like that. And just to have people out there in the world, in the world, that fools with me and loves what I post and loves what I bring. That says a lot. Um, I'm trying to grow as a person. I'm trying to grow as an influencer. So I just ask and say, bear with me and thank you. As easy as it is said, I'm gonna be completely honest. YouTube is probably one of the hardest platforms to grow any type of following on. So being consistent and posting every day and figuring out what who your audience is figuring out what it is that you want to do why it is that you're on youtube because me being personal if i it's, it's the energy for me i i have those youtube channels where the couples are uh, pranking each other and then i have those youtube channels where it's like a breath of fresh air she's actually talking about her her hauls and you know what finds that she's you know fashion and all that so it's like it's different for me but for me to subscribe to somebody's channel i really gotta feel like okay this is genuinely that person's thing versus oh they just post gonna come to my next one stop listening to everybody everybody don't have good intentions some people might laugh at you when they see you out in the public with the camera that was one thing that i had to get over with being camera shy like oh just being camera shy and me being me as a whole jumping out of my bubble cracking that wall was completely different jumping out of my shell and doing things that i've never really done in the uh, in the past you know it's it's crazy it's like an out of body experience you know i don't know about y'all but i have social anxiety so me going out in the streets and just putting on this tripod and taking pictures, things such as that nature is different. However, I will say it's a breath of fresh air. If YouTube is something that you're really wanting to do, do it. On top of that, you gotta know when to avoid those spots. Like, don't get frustrated. You know, even when you have those companies that come to you, they might be legit, but they're wanting you to pay them for shipping and handling. Do it respectfully. Be like, oh, unfortunately, I decline, things like that. Like, when you start get, putting your little toe in this influencer thing, you really have to figure out how do you want to be perceived as a person. So, I would say those will probably be my top five. I think that was five. Um, keeping God first, being consistent, posting, um, find, no, finding your niche, finding your audience, and ignoring the naysayers. Those are my top five. Honestly, we'll probably, I just wanna make this quick. <laughs> now that I'm being seen in a different light and being seen in that aspect, I would say it's different. Um, it's cool. Like, it's like, okay, they, they really rock with me. Okay, I got a little family. Oh, okay, I got, I got sis in the corner back there. Oh, it's like, okay. But no, all jokes aside, um, I would say I honestly like the feeling of being on YouTube. I like where my channel is growing. I like where I'm going as a person. And I'm still getting nervous about being on camera because I'm best, whew, it's still different for me. So I ask that you guys just bear with me. Um, but overall, I like it. And I can't, I can't wait to just do more and post more videos and content. It's invested with me being in school and trying to juggle Christian and trying to juggle YouTube and everything. You know, I pretty much just told myself that we gonna get it, we gonna get it in. With school starting back, I'ma say this is probably gonna be very, very hard. And for those that are in school, here's another tip. For those that are in school and you're building your YouTube and you know your brand and you're wanting to graduate, just keep going, man. Like, 
I know it's easier said than, said than done, but sometimes you just, you really just have to find the time and you might lose sleep. Sometimes I do lose sleep, but this is something that I really want to do. I'm not doing it to say, oh, I do YouTube full time and I don't have a job anymore. No, it, for me, it's like, I want to be able to inspire people. I want my story to push people. I want people to come to me and be like, oh, I love Twitter Denise. Did you see some pussy and see last night? And be Every video or every reel that I post, it always says subscribe for good vibes. And that's all I'm trying to put out there. And I'm not saying that it's going to always be peaches and cream, baby, because we're human. But I I wanted, I want to create an environment that is safe to say, okay, this is like my cousin on the couch. We chilling and just doing our thing. Just seeing my channel evolve and grow the way that it is I feel like we can do it overall this is gonna be my first time blogging all the time as a full-time student but it's worth it and yeah so before we go I just wanted to say this was going to be a quick video I have homework to do I got things to do if you have any topics that you guys want to touch on anything that you guys want to ask go ahead and drop it down in the comment section below before you leave hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you can get updates on when I drop a new vlog as we always say go ahead and tell a friend to tell their friends to tell the friend to tell their friends to tune into simplicity and see and tap 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 in Bye, guys.